Today I'm going to be on set for a photo shoot. It's been so long since I have filmed a YouTube video. I took a week off to go out west and spend some time with my family and then when I got back from that I was super busy with work. The day after I got back from Saskatchewan I was in bed and then up super early to go to work for a wedding and then that night I had a concert to go to with Will that we had bought tickets for so long ago and we actually ended up having the best night we had such a good night and then I had worked the rest of that weekend Monday rolled around we went for Thanksgiving and I was feeling like death I so did not want to go but it was nice to go and just spend a little bit of time with Will's family and then Tuesday I crashed so hard I just uh, overdid it which I kind of knew was gonna happen work was crazy in September like super busy and then I had a lot going on like in my own life and yeah I knew that when I came back from that trip to Saskatchewan I was gonna be tired and yeah it kind of hit me I got a little bit sick so I was sick for a majority of last week and then I worked all weekend again. And here we are, it's Monday. I'm feeling a lot better. I was actually able to do like some cooking and cleaning this weekend, which I wasn't able to do all last week. So thank goodness for Will picking up a little bit of the slack around the house. But yeah, I've been slowly on the mend and I'm feeling a ton better today. So I figured we would start a new vlog. I washed my hair this morning, so I think I'm just gonna let it air dry. Although we do have half an hour until we have to leave. So maybe that's enough time to blow dry it. I don't know, it'll be a game time decision. <laughs> Will's gonna meet a friend for golf, so he needs the car. So he's gonna actually drop me off at work today, go and do his golfing and then pick me up on his way home. It's basically like my Friday today because I've been working all weekend. So tomorrow will be like a nice, day off where I can get my life back together. We have a lot of getting my life back together to do this week, so I hope you guys are down for that. I'm gonna go ahead and just pack up my kit, get dressed, see what, figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, hello, it is at two o'clock, I just got home, finished work for the day. I made a couple of sandwiches and had some soup for lunch. And I think I'm just gonna spend the next couple of hours relaxing right here. <laughs> I was gonna lay down on that couch and hang out. Uh, maybe watch some Gilmore Girls. I've been binging Gilmore Girls. You have to watch it in the fall. It is just like the best vibes. And then after a couple of hours of that, it'll be time to make dinner. So I figured we could make dinner together. When I was at the hair salon today, I was just sitting there and I caught myself in the mirror and I realized like how long my hair is getting again, which makes me happy because I was having to cut off so much of it because it was feeling so dead and dry there for a minute. But I feel like the Olaplex that I've been using has slowly but surely actually been working. I wasn't sure about it at first, but as I've been using it for a few months now, I'm definitely noticing that my hair is in a better state than it was when I started. So I'm gonna sit and relax for a bit and I'll see you guys for dinner.
just hanging out in bed I'm having one of the pumpkin spice pods and I'm sad because we ran out of oat milk but at least there was a little bit I'm gonna make myself something to eat for breakfast too I've been loving just plain bran cereal lately it's just so easy on my stomach in the morning and also easy to make before work like when i'm up at 5 a.m in the morning i am not hungry but i know i need to eat because i'm not going to be able to eat until like the afternoon so this is so good for that type of morning lots of times i've been adding in some fruit like some blueberries or strawberries or something but we don't have any right now and we're also out of almond milk <laughs> looks like i need to do a trip to the store i have the day off today which feels so good. I can't even explain how good it feels. After being sick on all my days off last week, having this day to like feel good and also just be off <laughs> feels very, feels very nice. It's Will's and mine one year wedding anniversary this weekend, which I'm randomly like so excited for. I <laughs> loved our wedding so much. I think about it pretty much every single day and so the fact that like I get to celebrate our wedding this weekend feels very fun feels very exciting I don't know what we're doing well like I know we're gonna go out on a date on Saturday night I work during the day on Saturday and Will made like some secret reservations somewhere so he's kind of leading the charge on all that but I kind of think I want to get something new to wear so I was thinking I might go shopping today actually which is like so rare I can't even remember the last time I went shopping to the mall and just like bopped around looking for an outfit and not having something in mind already that I was like going to the mall to pick up. anything to wear this weekend I feel like there wasn't really a lot of options like I kind of hated everything in most of the stores I don't know what was up with that but because I didn't find anything I decided to go to indigo and treat myself to a book picked up this one the invisible life of Addie LaRue I'm looking forward to it I needed a new one to start because I just finished this one which actually took me a little while to read this is remarkably bright creatures by shelby van pelt this story is told from multiple viewpoints that eventually all converge and it was kind of cute and it had like cute parts and i liked that it was kind of like a happy ending and stuff but um it was kind of boring it took me like over a week to read and uh, that was just because I wasn't really inclined to 
pick it up. I would give this like a 2.5 slash like 2.75, but I'm gonna round up for Goodreads and give it a three on there. I'm happy to have finished this one and I'm excited to check this one out. Will is going out for dinner with his friends tonight. So I'm gonna make myself some dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna make like a lentil soup. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't think we have any lentils. And then, yeah, pretty much just hang out for the evening. I'll probably start reading my book. Yeah, that's gonna be my Tuesday. I have to go to the dentist in the morning, which I am so not looking forward to, but hopefully it's just quick and easy and painless. And then I'm hoping tomorrow to film a beauty video. It's been ages since I've done one, and I have um, a few that I wanna film, so I'm gonna do one tomorrow, I think, hopefully. So yeah, I'm just gonna put on some Gilmore Girls until dinner time, and then I think post-dinner we'll crack into the book. good to get the dentist out of the way for another six months i hate going to the dentist oh it's wednesday i was thinking i was gonna film today but will needs the apartment for a meeting that he's having later and he wants me out of the house for so i am actually going to go hang out with courtney and nora instead because i haven't seen courtney in a few weeks now i don't know what we're gonna do i know for sure we're gonna go for a walk yeah, I don't know if we're just gonna hang out or maybe we'll go and like have a little afternoon drinky somewhere. I don't know, but we will find out together. to my filming, which I'm feeling very excited about. I was on day three hair, which is kind of the most random day of hair because it no longer looks good air dried, but it's not even close to being dirty enough to need a wash. So I decided to curl it. I haven't curled my hair in months. I was kind of over that curling wand, the T3 one. I have a full video on it. I can link it if you guys want to see. But yeah, I was just kind of sick of using it because the hair is so slippery on the barrel that you really have to like pay attention while you're curling your hair and you can't like zone out. So it just made me like not want to use it for so long. But now that my hair is all curly, I'm like, oh, this is fun. Like maybe I need to start curling my hair every day again. Anyways, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna do a video trying out some new makeup, which I'm excited about. The coffee that I had this morning is just ripping through me. I am lit, so let's go film this video while my mood is high. Woo, okay, video is done, video is filmed. Here is the makeup that I filmed, trying out some new products and getting ready to go out for dinner tonight. I am meeting up with Kira and we're gonna try a new, Korean restaurant that opened on Queen Street. So I'm excited to see her and hang out. Here is the look that I ended up filming. Very natural and like wearable, but pretty to go out for dinner with my girlfriend. And yeah, I'm super 
I'm super vibing with the curled hair. I think I might be back in my curled hair era. We'll have to keep it going. Okay, so it's only like one o'clock. I was gonna go to Costco today because we really need groceries, but Will needs me out of the house for another meeting tomorrow. So I think I might save it for tomorrow instead. We have leftovers for lunch and dinner for Will. I'm going out for dinner, so there's leftovers for dinner for Will to eat. And he's gonna stop and get some stuff for breakfast tomorrow so we don't have to go to a coffee shop again tomorrow. He's just out um, detailing the car right now. So yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch. And then I think edit for the rest of the afternoon. I'm actually really excited to edit. Editing is one of my favorite parts about making these YouTube videos. And because I haven't been filming at all recently, I haven't had anything to edit. So I'm excited to kind of like sit and do that for a bit. I've got some leftover kale and lentil soup for lunch, which I'm so excited about. It's so good. The fall and soup, they just go together like so well. But they don't. Good morning, you guys. It's Friday. It is so vibey. It's rainy and dark and moody. And that's great because I don't have anything that I have to do today. <laughs> So the vibes are perfect for that. I was just doing my morning skincare and I thought that I would come on here and try out this new sunscreen together. I was gonna try it in my video that I filmed yesterday, but I ended up wanting to test out the Charlotte Tilbury water cream as a primer to see how foundation went on over top of it and i didn't want the sunscreen to interfere with that so i skipped the sunscreen i figured i would just try this today so we can try it together so it's the unscreened sunscreen by supergroup spf 40 broad spectrum sunscreen water resistant up to 40 minutes i wanted to get the unseen one rather than the glowy ones that they do because I already feel like my makeup is a good level of glow and I don't really feel like I need to add any extra glow into my routine in the form of a sunscreen. So here's what the texture looks like. It's super different from the one that I was using before. I was using the Shiseido Ultra Sun Protection. This is like really oily and liquidy. This one is a really different than any sunscreen I've ever really used before. Yeah, pretty just neutral. Like it kind of feels like I'm not even putting anything on my face at all, which is kind of nice. The name Unseen is very accurate. Oh, yay. I like that. I like that. The sunscreen scent is there, but it's super subtle. I actually really like this. So hopefully I don't have any issues with it breaking me out or anything. I'll continue to use it for a few days and update you guys if it does. All right. So I'm feeling pretty haggard. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and just get ready for the day. And then we're gonna get out of the house and do some grocery shopping. I didn't end up doing it yesterday because I wanted to have a reason to leave the house today for Will to have his meeting that he wants to be alone for. So I'm gonna put on some makeup and then we'll head out and get some groceries. <laughs> The car is so clean. I forgot that Will went and cleaned it yesterday. It's so nice having a clean car. What a luxury. All right, I'm feeling a bit more presentable. I'll put myself together a little bit. We are gonna head to Costco first and then we're gonna go to No Frills. And then depending on if Will has finished his meeting by then or not, we may also do a little trip to Farm Boy just to kill time. So let's go have a little afternoon of grocery shopping, shall we? It is 5.45. It's been a few hours since I've seen you. I got home from groceries and talked to my mom on the phone for a little bit. And then I just got back from driving Will to his dad's house for dinner. And they live kind of far now and it's traffic-y. So it took me like over an hour to do that. But that means I have the evening to myself, which is kind of nice. 
I'm feeling pretty hungry, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself dinner, even though it's quite early. I was thinking about what I was gonna make on my drive home. And I have one last bag of cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's from when I was down in the States um, a while ago now. So I think I'm gonna cook these up with like a cashew Alfredo cream sauce. And then maybe throw in some extra veggies, like some spinach or something green, maybe some broccoli. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds delicious. <laughs> girls and eat my dinner and then possibly start working on editing this video I feel like this video is kind of a nothing vlog <laughs> like nothing really happened this week and I didn't do a very good job of filming but it was my first one back in a while so I feel like I just need to get like back into the groove of things tomorrow is Will and I's one year wedding anniversary which I'm so looking forward to I have a client in the afternoon and then I'm gonna come home and we're gonna start our evening so I think I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here I am feeling inspired and looking forward to filming some videos and creating some content for you guys so if you have any video requests even if they're requests that you've made before leave them in the comments down below so I can look through them and pick out some ideas for some videos for the next couple of weeks thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>